What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over eight useful ChatGPT Chrome extensions. So here are the eight different extensions that I'm gonna go through. Now, if you go to the Chrome web store and you just search ChatGPT when you're searching for extensions and you scroll down, you're gonna see there are hundreds if not thousands of different types of extensions you can install. So I boiled it down to eight different extensions that don't require an account, don't require any payment. Some of them do have some limitations, but we're gonna go through these one by one. We're gonna start with chat GPT sidebar. Now the first three here are the ones that I use the most personally. Chat GPT sidebar is one of my favorite chat GPT Chrome extensions. If we open up our Chrome store here, you can see chat GPT sidebar right here. You can install it to Chrome. You can go directly to their website and they show you some of the different things that you can do summarize the article, find some more pages, explain any concept, and compare answers between AI and human. So to give you a quick example of how to use this, I just recently added a ton of different product categories to my website, farmhousegoals.com. And if we come over here, I need to write a ton of different product category descriptions. So if I come down and you can see this one I've already written using chat GPT sidebar, but if we say wood outdoor chairs and seating, I can copy this right here, we can click right at the top is the sidebar or over here at the bottom, we can click on it. And what we can do is do a custom prompt, basically ask chat GPT anything. There's a bunch of different things we can do down here. I'm gonna go through in the next step, but I can say something along the lines of, okay, so just a simple prompt, product category description for a product category that is selling wood outdoor chairs and wood outdoor seating. Click on submit and it's gonna give me a response that I can literally copy and paste and just put right here. And I can do this for all of these different product categories that I have to fill out the description for. I have about 100 different ones that I need to do, so by just simply using this sidebar tool, I can do all 100 pretty quickly, actually. So once you finish it, we can copy all of this right here, we can paste it, I can click on save and move on to the next product category. So the other thing that this tool can do is if we come over to just an article on moz.com. You can open up really any blog article that you want to. And what we can do is take this long portion of their beginner's guide to SEO about link building, click on the sidebar either down here or again up here at the top, and we can do summarize and summarize the entire article. We could also find similar pages. It can fix our grammar. It can explain things to us. It can explain codes. It can rewrite content and it can translate content. So a lot of different things that it can do here. Now what we can do is just click on summarize. It's gonna take the entire article here and we click on submit and it's gonna give us a response that summarizes the entire article. Now this is summarizing for a second grade student. If you go to the top, you can see that. I'm gonna stop generating for right now. It does give pretty good responses here. If we click on stop generating, scroll to the top, it's gonna to say summarize this for a second grade student. You could do summarize this for a marketer who was learning about LinkedIn, link building. So it can help you learn more about link building and actually speak to you depending on how you want this to speak to you. So you can summarize the article. You can also find similar pages. It's gonna take this URL, click on submit, and it's gonna pull up 10 similar pages to this content on link building. So if you're trying to learn about a specific topic and you want a few different sources, this is a great way to find all of those different sources. So chat GPT sidebar, plenty of ways to use this tool. Now the next one is gonna be web chat GPT. So one of the current limita limitations with chat GPT is it only has updated information through 2021. So if you need more relevant information, which of course, if you're in marketing or advertising, you definitely are gonna need more relevant information because things change so quickly. So if we come back over here, you can see web chat GPT, it's chat GPT with internet access. And if we come over here, I've already done a prompt, pretty simple, but it's right down here at the bottom. It's giving us, we're doing use web access, use three results. You could do up to 10 results or up only one result from the past year. You could do from the past week, month, year, day, any region. And all I did is say, what are some effective strategies to drive more leads from Facebook ads? Current date. And you're gonna see up here, it uses these three different web search results. And as we come down here, it's gonna give us all, the answer to my question, some effective strategies to drive more leads from Facebook ads, eight different ones, and every single one is sourced back to all those different articles. So with WebChat GPT, you're gonna be able to get more up-to-date and more relevant information using current information from other articles. So it's a great way to learn about certain topics that have changed, or if you're just trying to learn something new and you don't want old content, this is a great way to do it. So WebChat web, web GPT 
is definitely one that I would recommend trying. Now, coming back over here, AI PRM for ChatGPT is one of the best ChatGPT Chrome extensions I've ever seen. And if we come over here, you'll see it right here, AI PRM, really good product reviews. And what it does is it allows you to create all sorts of custom prompts and use all these different public prompts as well. So you can create your own prompts over here, or you say, I need a topic of, I'm talking about marketing. The activity with marketing I'm doing is research. You're gonna see generate buyer persona, business development and digital marketing strategy. Now, if we change the topic to, let's say software applications, and we come over here to activity and say accounting, legal document for a technology company, QuickBooks guru, monthly budget calculator. There's all sorts of different prompts, things that I would never even think to use. So if you go through here and we just click on all and go to the activity of all, it's gonna sort by the top voted prompts. So it's showing the top 12 prompts by votes, fully SEO optimized article, including FAQs, human written, 100% unique SEO optimized article. So if we click on this, human written, 100% unique SEO optimized article, you can output in any language that you want that they have here. You can choose a specific tone and you can choose a writing style. So if I just do something as simple as what is a landing page and we click on enter. So you can see the article here, what is a landing page and essential guide for digital marketers starts with a table of contents and then it goes through each individual part of the table of contents. Eventually I got cut off here for best practices for landing pages because I'm not upgraded to the plus version of chat GPT. I will upgrade eventually. I just want to complete this video series first. So I would highly recommend trying out AI PRM for chat GPT, some really good prompts. And all you really need to do is just click on a prompt and it'll say, enter a keyword, enter a couple of different sentences, depending on what the prompt requires from you. So it's going to be, allow you to do a lot of different things with chat GPT that you may not have known you can do. Now going to the next one is chat GPT prompt genius. This is an alternative to AI PRM for chat GPT. I haven't used it yet, but it has pretty good reviews and it came up a lot as one of the more popular chat GPT Chrome extensions that works pretty well if you're looking for more prompts. So the next one is going to be chat GPT for Google. And with this, it essentially just adds the chat GPT answer for every Google search that you do. How can I improve my bounce rate on my website? And it will show me over here on the right hand side. So I can read this first before I actually go through and click through some more content and learn more about how to reduce my bounce rate. If I do, who is the target audience for cleaning services? Maybe I'm doing some research for a cleaning service company. You can see it's saying homeowners, renters, offices and businesses, schools and universities. So I can make sure I have page on, pages on my website for healthcare facilities, hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, doctor's offices, dentist's office, basically any possible business that you can think of and make sure I have all those different pages on my website that I can use for SEO and I can also use for paid advertising as well to reach people who are looking for cleaning services. So coming over here, the first four tools, the first three I use a ton, ChatGPT for Google just adds that directly to your Google search. The next one is going to be YouTube summary with ChatGPT. So this is a, a pretty useful one. If you're trying to just get a quick synopsis of what a YouTube video is about, using the video I created yesterday, chat GPT for content ideas, generate 50 plus awesome content ideas in under 10 minutes. Now, all you have to do is click on transcript and summary over here. It's gonna give the entire transcript for this video. And when you click on this button, it's gonna say view AI summary. It's gonna open in a new tab and you can see it has my entire transcript here. And then what's pretty good is it's a very detailed description and you can even put here, can you give me a longer description of what this video is about based on the transcript above? And it will give you even more detail, but the video tutorial shows how to use chat GPT, use an example of a mattress website, which I did, how to use answer the public coming up with content ideas with chat GPT, how to copy and paste generated content ideas into Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and filter the data and how to use your SEO keyword list to generate even more content ideas. So it's a really great way to get a quick summary out of a YouTube video. If you're trying to figure out what a YouTube video is about and you don't want to watch all 20, 30 minutes or an hour, however long it is. So YouTube summary with chat GPT, another really good tool. Now there's another alternative YouTube digest. I haven't used this one yet, but it's worth trying if you want to try this one instead. The other one is definitely more popular with more users and it has pretty good reviews as well. So haven't really haven't had any issues with this one, but this other one may be worth testing if you need to summarize a lot of YouTube videos and you want to see which one works better for you. 
Now coming over here, the next is going to be reply, R-E-P-L-A-I, chat GPT replies in Twitter, LinkedIn. This one is a pretty good one just to quickly reply to people on Twitter or LinkedIn. If people ask you a lot of questions, if you want to tweet replies to people, I just pulled up this random tweet. I'm signed into my Farmhouse Goals Twitter account. I don't really use Twitter too often, honestly, but easy DIY St. Patrick's Day banner and thrifty shamrock decorations, a link via person who posted here. So if I click thumbs up, it's going to give a reply of, wow, that shamrock banner is so cute. Thanks for sharing the tutorial. I might have to try making it for myself. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so get rid of this and maybe I just want to do a joke. It says, hey, I've been looking for a thrifty way to decorate my apartment for St. Patrick's Day. Your DIY banner looks so easy, even I can make it, and that's saying something. Thanks for sharing your crafty skills. Reply. You get 20 replies per day, so it gives you a, a good amount of replies if you just want to go in, use all 20 replies, but I don't really use Twitter or LinkedIn too much personally, so not something I use too often, but for marketing, if you do want something where you can quickly reply to people, it gives pretty good replies, so... Obviously, you lose your voice a little bit because you're just having AI reply to people. But in some instances, that may be a little bit easier. So the last two here, talk to chat GPT and prompt the us. Both of these have involved actually talking to chat GPT. Talk to chat GPT is going to reply to you out of your out of your speakers. Prompt the us is going to give you a reply directly through chat GPT like it always would. So with this prompt the us, you just click your space bar. So if we come over here and we go to Promptheus, we scroll down, all you have to do, visit chat GPI, hold the safe space bar and talk to it, customize your language options, and it's going to give you the answer the same way that it always would. So it can help you speed up your prompts a little bit if you have really long prompts especially, and you don't want to type out every single individual prompt. Now the other one, talk to chat GPT, you actually talk to it and it will, you will hear its response. The one cool thing about this is you can talk to it in one language language, and get a response in another language. So I can talk to it in English, get a response in Spanish, and people have actually started using this. I was reading some of the reviews. People have been using this to learn a new language. So it's a pretty cool way to use ChatGPT, and maybe it's not the best thing for marketing. It can be useful for marketing, but if you're trying to learn things, if you're trying to speed up your process a little bit both of these tools can be helpful sometimes people prefer to talk rather than type so for people who are like to talk for their text messages this may be uh, two tools that you may want to use so coming back over here my eight useful chat gpt chrome extensions don't necessarily have to be geared towards marketers but a lot of them can be used for marketing obviously chat gpt sidebar i think is a great tool allows you to quickly and effectively do some pretty cool things and as far as i've seen there's no limitations to this tool web chat gpt allows you just to bring in more relevant information aiprm gives you better prompts and so on and so forth all of these are very helpful chat gpt chrome extensions and eight that i would definitely recommend trying that most people can find useful to get more out of chat gpt so if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.